Hi again guys and welcome back to another anime review from me. So this time we're going to talk about Shield Hero Season 2. So those of you who are really fans of the first season um, and super excited to watch this, I've waited for the whole season to come out and I was trying to hold myself from watching it at once because um, I, I am really a fan of this anime. However, even if I say that, you know, um, this anime seemed to lack the excitement and tension that it had during the first season. So although they were facing a bigger threat in the earlier episodes, you know, it still lacks something. Still lacks uh, proper excitement in the first few episodes. It's nice to see Naofumi grow, but yeah, it started to seem boring this season. Aside from this character now lacking the personality that he had in season 1, He's kind of too predictable. The problem is with overpowered characters or heroes is that they will get boring if they can do so much. You know what I mean? So there should be like a mixture of a comedy or thrill in it to balance things out. And it was lacking that a bit in the first few episodes, like I said. They started off with a lot of drama after all in the first season. And I also didn't like the 3D animated turtle. I just think that it didn't go well with the uh, anime art. I'm talking too fast because I'm trying to squeeze everything into three minutes. Also, for those who haven't read the manga, the story seems a bit fast-paced and confusing. Well, because of the time gap between the release of this second season, you need to rewatch the first season to feel any excitement until you reach the fifth or the sixth episode. However, after that, it starts to get interesting. And You'll finally be able to relate to the characters and find out who Lark and his team are. So, the plot turns a bit more complicated, but not exactly to my liking. It felt like it was compressed into 12 episodes. I mean, 12, 13 episodes run when it should have been more. There's still no development between Reptalia and Naofumi's relationship. Even if I think it would have been kind of weird between them, because it's like a father and daughter, but at the same time a lover kind of relationship. Kind of like the anime I'm watching right now from Netflix, Bastard. So all in all, I'll give it 4 out of 5 stars. But that is me and that is my opinion. And how about you? So if you want spoilers of this, feel free to comment below. I'll talk about the plot. But, you know, it's really hard to talk in depth about this without revealing much about the story. So um, watch it if you are a fan. For me, I just love Nobumi so much! Even if he seemed boring. Bye!